Hey, what's up? Welcome to the Quantizer. In this video, we're going to go over how to connect a Raspberry Pi to a laptop using just a USB cable. And we're going to do with this thing called gadget mode. So we're going to set up the Pi so that SSH is enabled, configure gadget mode, connect the USB cable, and then finally SSH into the Pi. Before we jump in, be sure to visit us at thequantizer.com where we'll have the steps of this tutorial so that you can copy and paste like we're going to do and follow along. And if you like this type of content, be sure to like and subscribe so you can be alerted as to when our new content comes out. The first thing you need to do is to image the disk. And so um, we're going to come over here with the Raspberry Pi imager and we're going to choose the Raspberry Pi OS, the SD card, and then uh, be sure to click this advanced settings button down here. That way we can set up a uh, username and password because they don't do that by default anymore. So I'm just going to add that in right here. And then I'm also going to enable SSH and the host name. Let's press save and then uh, write it. All right, now it's time to configure gadget mode on the Pi. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, just change directory into wherever that SD card is mounted. For us, that's in volumes and boot. Um, next, we're going to modify the config text file. Uh, we're going to append this DT overlay to it. And so you can see that echo command just does it. Um, and we're just showing the that we've, we've appended it here. And then next, we're going to do our last configuration, which is command line.txt. Once you, um, however you want to edit that, we're going to use VI, go find the root weight part of it. And then right after root weight, put in this, um, this string that we have at the quantizer.com. So you could just copy it like we are and paste it over here. And then once you have that in there, you can save the file off and we're done configuring. The next step is to just plug in the Raspberry Pi into the uh, USB-C so that it will power it and also connect it to our laptop. And then uh, we're on to the final step, and that's just to SSH in. So uh, we're going to SSH into that Pi at local. Uh, we're just adding our key to the um, our known host and then typing in our password that we set up in the uh, first steps. And there you go. We're in. And that's it. We'll see you in the next one.